The first way we're gonna do this is with our thumb drive. And we can just select whatever kind of memory card or jump drive that we have. It'll show me all the photos on there. And then I pick the one that I want. And on this screen, we can crop it to different shapes. For this one, I want to do the whole top of the cake. Um, we'll go to the next. And I am going to add some words. And I can just type my message in. Whoop. And I can select different fonts. Let's see, I guess which one matches our cool dad the most. That one's pretty cool. And then we can pick a color. White actually might stand out the most, so we can check that. Nope. Let's try blue. Okay, and from here I can kind of adjust things around a little. And we will print this image just like that. Now I'm gonna be printing this on edible paper. It's just like a really thin kind of wafer paper and it has a paper backing and then we peel that off and stick it on like a sticker. I have edible ink inside. Um, so it's all, you can eat it all food safe. Once we put the paper on the cake it actually melts into the icing and it's not really peelable anymore. It becomes part of the frosting. So the many methods of um, getting a photo to print and getting the photo we have um, we have slots for jump drives and memory cards. We have a disk drive and I also have a scanner. So this photo we're gonna scan going to put it right in here and just scan the image. So now that it's scanned, I can turn it, I can tilt it. You can resize it a little and this one I want to do something a little different. We're gonna do a cutout. I'm gonna bring it in a little. And if I wanted to, I could even make it black and white. So go to this setting and here I can resize. And I'm gonna do this one on my cake a little bit different. Go vertical. All right. And we'll print that photo. So for this one, instead of just putting a big square photo on there, I'm gonna switch it up a little. I'm gonna try and cut around the edges. So for this one, I want to use the picture a little differently and kind of design around it. And I'm going to save this, mask it, so when I airbrush, my picture won't get colored. I like photo cakes because it really gives you the opportunity to make a really unique cake. You know nobody else has one like this. You can make it really personal. You can have fun with it and get kind of an embarrassing old photo. You can pick like a really nice picture for an anniversary or a special event. You can choose multiple photos. If you maybe for graduation want to show like a baby picture and uh, maybe elementary and then a high school. 
for the best quality image on your cake, we recommend you bring in a digital file or the actual photo itself that we can scan. Um, sometimes if you bring in a photo that you've printed yourself at home with your own printer on your computer paper, it can have some faint lines or other quality issues. And by the time you bring that in and then we scan that again, and then we print with our edible ink onto edible paper, it really can bring out the imperfections. So for the best photo, just bring us the actual photo. Um, photos that have been damaged with like creases or watermarks. Um, I've been asked if we can Photoshop those. We don't have Photoshop. Um, pretty much what we scan is what it looks like. We can change the size, but we can't fix problems within the photo. Uh, the only photos that we can copy are your own personal photographs that you've taken yourself. Um, so we aren't able to scan invitations and napkins and plates and other things that you found online because of copyright infringement laws. Someone wanted a Nerf cake and they wanted the Nerf logo and that isn't something that we would be allowed to do but they did find a photo of their kid with all of his Nerf gear all ready to go and have fun. And we used that photo on the cake. And it, to me, that's a far more interesting cake to have this kid in action with a big smile on his face than just some company's logo on your cake. It gets far more personal and fun.